we said Samantha's on it. Um, <laughs> Samantha <laughs> took it to the She's great. I'm afraid to bring him up now. Everybody, this guy is awesome. He's won like 18 Frescas. <laughs> celebrities would write something and I'd respond to them, and then I would realize that, that looks pretty fucking sad after a while. So I just started emailing Peter directly. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, like, but you get real excited on Twitter, because once, um, okay, before I tell you this, you need to know that there are different levels of gay expression. Uh, the fr yeah, and I'm gay, in case you couldn't tell from my voice, my clothes, or the fact that I was utterly disgusted by half of the fucking Canes. <laughs> I love the Oprah network, do not But, um, I'm like eight phones on me right now. <laughs> I feel like that bitch switched to 4G and T-Mobile and you missed the game. <laughs> but, Mark got no fucking free throw. But, um, the first level of gay expression is very basic. It's kind of a gasp. <gasps> <laughs> and then if it's even better than that, it breaks into the two F's of the gay kingdom. <laughs> or fierce. <laughs> and then from there, it gets into like a full-bodied expression of a... <laughs> and then from there, it can just get into like a fucking rainbow bright explosion that you don't want anybody to see, but... Um, I went to the Supernatural Convention this weekend, and I aired out my nerves, proud and happy. Woo! Yes! Me and Crystal went together, and we had a fucking blast. They had karaoke night with all the B-stars, which was great, because five out of six of them are already dead on the show. <laughs> but, um, I got to get up there and sing karaoke, which was awesome, and I was like, I'm gonna look tough as hell, and I realized I'm singing Elton John, but I'm gonna own that shit. And um, I got to sing, and I was real hot, and I posted it on Facebook, and one of my friends called me, and you can tell when people have kids, because they're like, Oh my god, you were singing to the mom of Zach and Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel like a geek that I paid $200 for a photograph. I didn't feel like a geek or a nerd that I fucking went to karaoke night with the dead stars of Supernatural. <laughs> it wasn't until I was singing of a late Nickelodeon mom. <laughs> that I questioned whether or not I would ever be able to stand up again. But it was great. But um, when I took the picture with the two stars of Supernatural, I learned something. There's a fifth level of gay expression that I had not experienced in my life until that moment. Because I did not have time to go through the first four. I had a gay explosion slash malfunction. Where my inner girl, that's the power that harnesses the gay. It's the gay underlying radiant, radiating light, which is why facts can see in the dark. Think about it. How else does Adam Lambert put on his fucking eye makeup? If he wants to sing with Queen, that 
Men's fine. I've seen plenty of twinks go after old men. It's all good. But, um... I shut down completely. And so did Krista. So I, I don't know if she has a role, but... Mine blew up enough for both of us, and this is us walking out of the room after the picture. I swear to God, we're like, oh my God. Oh, we're so fucking hot. Oh my God. I mean, did you see? I saw. Did you see? I saw. I was like smoking a cigarette from like the wrong end and didn't know. I mean, like, if you're a woman, you would have needed something with wings to protect you from that. Because I had seepage. It was so hot. And so now, just to make sure that doesn't happen again, it's a screensaver on my phone. But, let's get on to more serious topics. Um, I'm not a fan of bullying. Fuck bullying. Fuck bullying. It's hard to be gay. Y'all think we have it easy just because we dress nice? <laughs> Nothing was more perfect than the 70s gay. There was no HIV, there was no worries, everybody was having sex, it was fun, and then all of a sudden, straight people started shopping in our fucking stores. All the straight guys were wearing stuff from Express, and now you pass somebody in the mall, and you're like, I don't know, girl, do you think? I don't, I don't think I can't tell. I mean, those are Crocs, but they're Dolce. <laughs> it's hard to find our people. Come on. And then you go to Spanky's and you find them, and that's just odd. <laughs> I mean, I thought it sounded like an S and M bar when they told me the name. So you should do comedy at Spanky's. I was like, okay. I've been in a leather harness once, and that's not something I want to do. <laughs> Apparently in leather, the thing between my big toes isn't ticklish. <laughs> but anyway, I was thinking about bullying. And um, bullying's just fucking wrong. But I realized something about bullying. You can't bully somebody that's proud of who they are. Right? Thank you. Think about it. Somebody could come to you and be like, well, Thomas, you're a faggot. I'm like, and? <laughs> and then they kind of lose motion, they're like, eh. Like, you suck dick. Very well, I might add. <laughs> Half those likes on my Facebook aren't for my comment. <laughs> but, um, I wrote a little poem, very introspective about myself, and I figured, well, if I'm going to tell people, fuck no, I'm very proud of myself, I'll show you all the things that I'm not proud of. And then I got proud of them after I read it. Of course, I had a mental breakdown, I had to cry, I had to think about smoking marijuana, but I don't do that because I'm gay and I could gain weight and that would just really fucking ruin everything. <laughs> There's nothing worse than telling her to tell that bitch in the stand-up tanning bed that you need the extra large room. <laughs> I mean, it's already bad enough that I'm like as pale white as you can possibly get and I have to buy the $80 cream just to look like a normal person and not transition. <laughs> but here's my poem. I am a single ginger and fluorescently white. Slightly stocky, comic by night. Attention craving, banker by day. Wants to be a dad and obviously gay. Allergies, asthma, and my ADD. Nervous breakdown at 11, yep, that was me. I'm happy cooking in the kitchen with my golden girls and designing women. I'm a cigarette and alcohol flunky, former coke and crystal meth junkie. Yeah! Yeah! I was skinny. But you will never know the horror of curling. I, the only thing I did for three days was color an entire Muppet Baby's coloring book. The only time I got up was to check the internet to see what color the fucking Fozzie's tie was. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it's purple dots and white, just saying. But I'm a supernatural watching, yellow light stopping, democratic voting, man first coding, will and grace missing with a love for kissing. Never miss an episode of Glee, now bully that and fuck with me. Because there are two things in this world that I respect. One is a bitch. Because if you can get up and speak your mind in front of people and piss them off, then I'm pretty much a fan. 
I love you too? <laughs> Hit like on my Facebook. <laughs> the other one is a gay bitch. Because a gay bitch, you might hate her, you might disrespect her, and you may not agree with her, but Rosie O'Donnell is a fucking necessity in this world. <laughs> they can't all be Ellen with the Bieber inspired haircuts. <laughs> Or they can't all be favorable. They can't all be fun. Some of us just have to get out there and say that ain't fucking right. Yeah. We want to get married. Not because we want to get married. Y'all don't get it. We want to be able to get divorced and get our shit back. Yeah. Status, I like the status. <laughs> 